Welcome back to KXAN News Today. It is a big day for Seton as they get ready to open the new Dell Seton Medical Center. The hospital opens to patients next week, but today everybody's welcome to come out and take a look at it. Uh, Del, Del Seton's Chief Nursing and Operations Officer, Deborah Hernandez, joins us this morning to talk about what's going on and um, how you guys are moving. Good morning, Deborah. Before we start, I have to say to you, Happy Nurses Week. Oh, thank you. I know thank you, you so much. <laughs> you've been a yes. nurse for at least 30 years now. Yes, you don't have to date me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a good yes, thing. Thank you. <laughs> so I've been covering this all week long, yes. and um, you guys are really excited. You were telling me that kind of as you were moving over, everybody was a little bit nervous but now just the excitement is building the excitement is building every day and it, you know we're really going to start it off today with our community open house mm -hmm. um, we uh, will open the doors today at one o'clock for a band for a parade okay. starting at Brackenridge Hospital as kind of our symbolic farewell to the past as we say hello to the future at Del Seton Medical Center at the University of Texas okay um, and what can folks see when they, when they, because I took a tour this week you and it, yeah, I, okay. we did, I did several times and it, it just has that wonderful new hospital smell. Yes, it, it is a brand spanking new hospital and um, we have designed it with patients in mind, patients and families. Um, as you get ready to come in, you'll notice this big, big open space with lots of light and um, these warm features as we have designed the building to make it comfortable and really great for patients mm -hmm. and their families. Yeah. If you go ahead. Um, as you walk through the hospital, you'll get to see a tour of the entire hospital. Um, you'll get to see what we call our smart rooms. Our smart rooms are um, positioning us to make the patient experience more comfortable. Right. Um, one example of that would be as you walk into a smart room. I, as a caregiver, would be wearing a badge that would trigger a monitor in the room that you'd be watching mm -hmm. on TV that could tell you who I am and what my credentials are. I see. So say, here's Deborah Hernandez. She's a nurse here, and mm -hmm. she's, and then I could be able to say. But that also allows you to help track which health caregivers are coming and going. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can track, um, but it also allows our caregivers the efficiencies of making sure that the things that they do are recorded in the electronic medical record so that they don't forget things and they can make it the patient experience and the patient education much better. Some of the other things too is that the, 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 the standard uh, operating rooms here are larger than the biggest ones over at Brackenridge. Yes. Um, and so the, as you say goodbye to, to, to Brackenridge, they also too as, a, as you leave the hospital, you can see your discharge with a video showing you how to take care of yourself at home, which yes. is also something else. This is the only trauma one center though in our region. Yes. So, and, and although it's slightly smaller in size compared to Brackenridge, you have the capacity for more beds. How important um, is that? We actually have um, a few more beds than we have today at Brackenridge Hospital, and we have the ability to expand okay. to a lot more beds. Okay, and you've been uh, basically been training how to move all that stuff, especially critical care patients. Yes, absolutely. From Brackenridge over to the hospital mm -hmm. this week and and next week coming up. Yes, we um we had a scrimmage this past week where um we actually moved a patient, not a fake patient, uh -huh. you know, with our Starflight helicopter um, colleagues. And then next week we also have a patient move day exercise where we'll actually have people volunteering to be patients so that our care team providers can get real familiar and comfortable with how we start that move on the official opening day of May 21st at 7 a.m. Right, I, I told everybody, 7.01, they gotta be ready <laughs> to go. That's right. That's <laughs> Deborah, right. thank you so much for joining us. Really quickly before we go, uh, the open house is today between 1 and 5 p.m. Exactly, and we're inviting the entire community to come out and celebrate with us and get a look at what we have put our heart and soul into developing over the past few years. All right, good luck with all of this. Thank I know you you're in so charge much. of it all. <laughs> <laughs> <Tasty> team. <laughs> thank you, Deborah. Thank you. All right.